Well, thanks for staying with us tonight at five o'clock. When you're watching the news at home, it's not unusual for you to recognize the voices of reporters and anchors that you listen to each and every day. Yeah, you may hear Devonte's mm -hmm. voice, for example, <laughs> and know it's him without even glancing at the TV. But that's not always the case because even on TV, there are times you'll hear someone that you'll never even see. Today, all new at five, I'm helping you put a face to a voice you have heard many times right here on WXII 12. Meet Steve Stone. In the triad, mornings start with you. A boy's life-changing journey that began at just 10 months old. Experienced forecasting, alerting you of changes ahead. You've heard his voice on WXII 12 many times, but this is probably the first time you're seeing the TV personality who does his work off camera in an audio booth from home. This is my basement. I provide the voice for uh, most of the announcements that you see between the newscasts or, or shows for Channel 12. Here's Steve as a kid. He spent a lot of time watching TV, and that is where his fascination with voices started. Watching cartoons, watching movies or sports, I would just mimic what I heard because it, it seemed to connect with me. It seemed to speak to me. There was something about the voice that fascinated me because it was, it was an, an anonymous job, it was behind the scenes, yet it was a very important part of the program. When Steve was 19, he started working in radio. He traveled around the country and ended up working at a radio station in Winston-Salem. But he had bigger dreams, dreams he saw himself driving toward every day. When I would drive home from the, from the radio station, I would drive past WXII building, and I would always look at the building and think, one day I'm going to do some work for TV. So it's kind of funny to think that I actually do work for the exact television station that I would drive past. Steve has been doing this for decades now. No two days are alike, and it's never boring. And he's still perfecting his craft. Something I still work on to this day is being able to switch my focus and tone from doing something uh, like a sports promo to doing something like a serious news promo. It's the job comes with some built-in perks like working from home. Not having a commute for the last 20 years. But he does have the occasional distraction like when the dog barks. In fact, he has two and three cats. Take a look at his cool studio, though. Everyone has a story. Everyone has a story. All that bass in his home basement turned home studio. Here are the lines for each version. There's two different versions, um, and those are my instructions. And after all these years, Steve loves to tell the story. Can you tell? The writing's on his arm. And he reminds anyone out there with big dreams to listen to that little voice inside you that tells you you can and turn down the volume on anyone who says otherwise. I was told very early on that I had no future in this business. And that was, you know, that really hurt. But I could have either been defeated and, you know, said, okay, well, that's it, or ignored it and kept trying. Everybody has um, ambition for something, and you just have to try. Steve lived in Winston-Salem for a couple of years in the early 90s. He currently lives in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with his wife. He's gotten a lot of awards over the years, including two Emmys he is very proud of. He's been doing voiceover work with us for the past 10 years and tells me the Our Home Image promo stands out as one of his favorite projects here at WXII.